The weather's looking a bit grey, but it's not rained yet. It's a bit cold, but it's day one of round one of the Route 77 British MX Cup.
never met this guy before. Leon Bernardin. Go on, say it for me. Leon Bernardinelli. Bernardinelli. Yeah, Bernardinelli. It's Leon Bernardinelli. Yeah, we're sick with that one, yeah. You remember that? Leon Bernardinelli. <laughs> yeah, we have that, yeah. How's the, how's the weekend going? Um, yeah, it's going nice. I mean, track's flowing really well. It's having good fun out there. It's uh -huh. better than last year for me. Fitness has improved and bike's a lot better, so. I was going to say your results are going a lot better than last year as well, aren't they? Oh, yeah, like last year's I was getting like 30 eggs. Yeah, like, nice this year, well, the first three races I got 21st and 22nd, so it's a lot better. I'm trying to stick with it, really. I'm trying not to come off. Cool, and the, uh, the aim for finishing results? Um, end of championship, hope for top 15. I'm going to really try hard, but weekend results, just top 20 will be will be happy for me. All right, fantastic. Look forward to see how you get on. Oh, thank you very much. Cool. Cheers. How's the uh, racing been going, Alfie? Well, it's been all right. This is the first three national I've done with the team. I uh, qualified 31st and had a 12th yesterday. In the first race, so I had two crashes, which wasn't the best. Finished 29th. We've got two races to go, which I'm looking forward to. Okay, no injuries? No, nope, not yet. Fantastic. And what about the uh, the next race? Where are you looking to come? Well, top 15 finish, hopefully. That's what I'm aiming for. It's on 15? Yeah. Okay, and have you been with uh, Motor 64 for long? Is this... No, I've only been with them all since Christmas. But it's been a really good time and I'm looking forward to the rest of the season with them. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Alfie's teammate Jake Curtis Stevens. How's it going, Jake? Yeah, it's not going bad. Uh, yesterday in qualifying, I qualified 19th. Not really where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in the top 10, but first race, uh, got a bad start. Pulled back through to 11th. If I got the start, I got the speed there. I just need to dial in the start to hopefully get a good gate in the next race. Uh, race two this morning, I uh, got a really bad start again. I was very fair and I pulled back through to eighth. So it goes to show I got the speed there, but I just got to get the starts and then hopefully it will all come together as one. Okay, and you ride in the 250s with Alfie, is that right? Yeah, both riding in the 250. I've got KTM and he's riding a Husky. He's working out pretty well. It's really good. And how does that, uh, how does that work when uh, you're both neck and neck? Uh, yeah, we bring we bring each other on actually. I see him, and then I go for him, and then if he sees me, it keeps him going. <laughs> so it's all good. Good. Well, good luck with the uh, with the rest of the races. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks. We're in the Moto 64 team tent with Leighton Holmes, clubman rider. How's it going, Leighton? Yeah, not too bad. Um, qualified, not too brilliant. I finished tenth in qualifying. Um, thought I was going well but <laughs> you get you get that feeling sometimes where you, you feel you're going better than you are yeah but, um like it's only qualifying so racing's more important and now on the racing how's now the uh, results been going uh first race i finished fifth um which i was happy with um yep. third taking out the wild the two wild card riders in front of me um, which is good points for the start of the season, so yeah, happy with that. Uh, second race, I finished fourth, um, which again, second, taking out the wild cards. Um, and then today, um, I finished fifth again, um, third, taking out the wild cards, so yeah, yeah, pretty good. Brilliant, and I hear you've been uh, doing a bit of charity work, is that right? Yeah, yeah, um, I've uh, done a bit of charity work for um, Cancer Research UK, uh, shaved, my, shaved my hair Yay. off, raised um, £500, so yeah, really uh, really good charity and oh, brilliant. quite close to me with family and friends that have um, like gone through that sort of thing. Yeah. So um, yeah, just thanks to everyone that donated and yeah, supported me for it, so yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, good luck with uh, the next race and uh, especially with the, the rest of the uh, growing your hair back. <laughs> yeah, we'll be wearing this quite a lot. <laughs> Keep <Okay>. it warm. <laughs> Yeah. Cheers, Aiden. Thank you very much.
we're here in the uh, Train to Gain pit tent with Chris Bastic, 250 rider. How's it going, Chris? Yeah, sir, uh, not too bad. Been a bit of an up and down weekend. Qualified sixth yesterday, which has put me in a fairly good place on the gate. Um, only managed one race, unfortunately, because there was a few problems throughout the race meeting. But um, come around the first corner in third and had a, a clash with another rider. Managed to get myself up a bit sore and um, scrape through from dead last to ninth. So I was pretty happy with that, to be honest. Um, today, um, had a sick. So, yeah, I was quite happy with that. Hoping for a top five. That was my goal. So hopefully in the next two races today, I can um, hopefully achieve that. OK, fantastic. How many riders have you got in the team? Um, I think we've got about ten altogether. So sort of two from each um, each group. I do a lot with the with the, these kids uh, away from the races, um, training during the week. So nice to get them all together and see what they do on a race weekend. And I'm here as well as racing to sort of mentor and coach them as well. Um, it's good that I'm sort of out on the track as well, so I can sort of relay my information as I come in from the circuit around to the other riders and sort of help them along with their with their race weekend. So. Cool. I was going to ask you a bit more about the train to gain. So yeah. how, how long has that been uh, going? Um, I've been training for the last five, six years maybe. Um, yeah, been training and sort of built, built it up slowly and in a position now where it's full time seven days a week. So yeah, so, like I say, I'm really happy. Um, not really uh, ever wanting to sit in an office and have an office job. So yeah, different office every day, different tracks and yeah, kind of around what I love. So couldn't be better. And is the training across the ages? Yes, so I do literally um, from the first time I have people come to me, first time their their, pet, their dad's bought them a bike and literally they've never had a, been on a bike before up until you're sort of expert um, veterans. So yeah, all the way through. I even have, like I say, people that have come and they want new into the sport and the parents don't want to chuck them out on the track without the sort of right guidance. So yeah. Excellent. And the, and the train to gain is available throughout the country? Throughout the country, yeah. I, I travel around. Um, I try and base it um, at my dad's motocross track in Mildenhall. That's sort of where I base it. But I do I do travel around, um, yeah, sort of travel around a bit and trying to trying to set myself up so I can do stuff on these, on these big weekends at the GT Cup. So, yeah. OK, well, if you need any training, you know where to come to now. Hello, Spike Stevens, auto rider. How are you? Good. Fantastic. How has your uh, how's your race has been going? Good. Yep. Do you know what your results were? Seven and a tenth. Seven and a tenth. That's great. And uh, where is it you're wanting to sort of get to finish on your next race? First. First. I like it. And how's uh, how's it uh, how's it going at train train to gain? Good. Yeah. Do you uh, put a lot of hours in training? Mm, yeah. And who's your trainer? Is that Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like him? Yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see you uh, a little bit later, Spike. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Hi, we're still in the uh, MX Spain tent uh, with Ben Jarman. How are you doing, Ben? All right, thanks, you. Cool, fine, thanks very much. You're in the clubman class, is that right? Yeah, I'm in the clubman class. And how's that going? Yeah, it's going all right. Done a bit rubbish in qualifying, qualified last, but I've got a few bike problems overheating, so we sorted out yesterday, yep. and hopefully do a lot better today. Okay, and how's the race that's gone so far? Yeah, the first race earlier, I come 34th, right. but still got one more race here, we see what goes on in there. Okay, cool. Where's, what's your, what, what are you aiming for? What uh, sort of position? Top 20 I'm aiming for. Top 20, cool. It's first time riding for MXS racing this year and hopefully we've got a lot of future to go. All right. Fantastic. We'll, uh, we'll see how Ben gets on a bit later on.
Hi, I'm with Ross Phelan, MX Spain's 450 rider. How are you doing, Ross? Good, yourself? Fine, thanks very much. How's the uh, 450 going? Uh, tough. It's been a tough introduction yeah. to the GT Cup. Uh, yeah, they're a fast group and uh, the bike's fast. Uh, a bit beyond my skill at the moment, but uh, I'm enjoying myself. Okay, so, is it your first year doing My this? first year doing GT Cup, yeah. Usually doing some club and stuff. Um, I'm usually run a vets group because I'm over 35. All right, okay. So I thought I'd see how I get one of the young kids and uh, yeah, they're working me really hard. <laughs> okay, and results so far? Uh, the race um, qualifying, qualified 34th, so obviously slower out there. Um, just need to get into it, take my time. Uh, I finished pretty much uh, 30th, 31st, 32nd, all around there. Yep. So it's somewhere consistent. Bit of a crash in the first one. But uh, fingers crossed I'm still in one piece and no one broke, race to go. No broken bones then? None at the moment, no. Good. Touch wood. Keep it that way. Thank you very much. All right, thanks for that. Hi, I'm with uh, Alfie Osborne, number 94, auto rider and Judd Racing sponsored rider. How are you, Alfie? Good. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. How's it, uh, how's it at the uh, Route 77 British MX Cup this year? Good, I find it hard, really. Is it, what, hard on the track? Yeah. Yeah? How have your uh, races been going, though? Good. Yeah, how did, can you, do you know what uh, results you got? Yeah, I got 12 champs and 13. That's fantastic. But you're, you're enjoying it? Yeah. And how's the bike running? Good. Good. Okay, no problems with it at all? No. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> So, what about the next race? Where do you think you might come with that one? Uh, I think I might come ninth. Ninth. Okay. Is that where you'd like to come? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see where you come uh, a little bit later on.
Right, we stood at uh, MX Spain. I've got to get his name right, otherwise he's going to pound me. Matt Maxted, is that right? That's right, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, riding a 250? Yeah. yeah. How's it going? Yeah, it's going all right. Got an average qualifying uh, 18th, so... Yeah, going good. First year in the 250, so getting used to it, but... Yeah, it's liking it. It's good. Cool, how did uh, qualifying go? Yeah, I've got... Uh, didn't go too well, went through three pairs of goggles, but uh, got 18, so better than any result last year. I'm happy with it. So what happened to the goggles? Uh, well, I snapped them. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't bad preparation, it was me being a bit of a numpty really. But right. Oh well, we'll get on with it and be better next time hopefully. Cool, so what, it's currently sitting about 18th, you say? Uh, well, I got in the first race, I got uh, 17th, but I was running 11th and dropped it, so... I think I could run top 10 if I get a good start, but All right. I think qualifying's helped me a little bit, but can't help it. Get on with it, really. So, Cool. Mm. Well, good luck in the next race. Cheers. And we'll, uh, we'll ca up, catch up with Matt Maxted. <laughs> get your name right again Cheers. in a bit. <laughs> Neo McCartney, Judd Racing sponsored rider. And number, what's your number? One. one. Number one, I like it. How's the uh, how's the Route 77 British MX Cup been going so far? Great. Great. You enjoying it? Yeah. Having a good time? Yeah. Cool. How's your races going? Great. Great. Can you remember where you came in the first one? Yeah. Eighth. What about the second one? Fifth. That's brilliant. It's wonderful. Now then, I can see by your shirt, you've also got a bit of a nickname, haven't you? What's that? McCartney. Yeah, but what's your, it's Nitro, isn't it? Nitro? Neo. Nitro Neo, fantastic. And you've also been doing a lot of work for charity as well, I believe. Yeah. Yeah? Can you do an extravaganza, ex, put my teeth in, extravaganza, is that right? And you're doing the same thing again this year? Yeah. Okay, and just tell me, can, do you know what that involves? What, what was it you did last year? I gave the Easter eggs to the poorly children in the hospital. That's wonderful. And you're doing the same thing again this year? Yeah. Great, and, and do you know how many Easter eggs roughly it was you gave out last year? Uh, Isn't it about a couple of hundred if I... 250? 250, that's great. Well, good luck with uh, the rest of the Route 77 racing and uh, especially with your uh, Easter charity work. Thank you. You're welcome.
here with 65 rider Jude Turton. How are you doing, Jude? Alright. How's the weekend going? Not so good. I've, no? No. Why is that? Because today I got from dead last, I had to get to 18th. Um, yesterday, it was really rough, I was struggling a lot as well. And it, I didn't get in qualifying, I got 20th, it was not what I was expecting. So. And your result today, where did you, where did you come today? I don't know yet because I've got to do the last race. Well, the third, the second race, um, I got dead last to 18th, and I don't know the first race. This is your first time in the 65s, though, isn't it? You just moved up, is that right? Yeah, I've been on it for like five, six months. Uh huh. And how are you finding the gears? Quite easy. You get used to it a lot. That's good. The club club race has been going well. I've only done one round, uh, top at leaderboard, so going alright, yeah. Yeah, you're enjoying this weekend? Yeah, enjoying a lot, I love the track. It's normally, last time I reeled my auto, cartwheels from down the hill. <laughs> we haven't done that this time? No. No, good, we'll make sure you don't. Alright, thanks Jude. Hi, it's day two of the Route 77 British MX Cup and we're down here at the uh, MX Spain racing pit tents with 125 rider number 292 Ashley Holland. How are you doing Ashley? Not too bad, thank you. Good, and how's it been going the last two days? Uh, yesterday we started a bit rough. Uh, the first race yesterday had a bit of a nightmare with the suspension. Uh, so I'm trying to get it all dialed in. Should have done it pre-start pre of the season but yeah. got it. we've got it there now. Cool, and the races today, what have you done? Uh, today's gone alright, I've just done my uh, third race, first of today. Uh, got a decent start, fourth off the gate. Uh, managed to, well, I dropped back first, and the uh, last few laps I managed to get up to eighth, so finished alright. Alright, cool. So the um, MX Spain, is this your first, second year? Uh, this is the second year with uh, the Motocross Spain. Uh, Paul and Tim, who are the managers and the owners, they, uh, they've done really well for me the last two years, so... It's only right to stick with them and uh, show, you know, give them the results that they uh, need. Fantastic! So it was what eighth on the last on the last race or ninth? Yeah. Eighth. Eighth. I don't know. Eighth or ninth. Eighth one or ninth. Or ninth. Okay. The and the race before that was about ninth, was it as well? Yeah, the race before was ninth, and the race before that I got last. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you hopefully make it up on the next one. Yeah, it can only get better from now on. Okay. Well, we'll catch up with Ashley a little bit later on and see how we did on the last race. <laughs> 